You know, sometimes walleyes become extremely moody, especially in the dog days of summer. Now, as much as I enjoy holding a rod and vertical jigging in a controlled environment, I'm wise enough to realize that sometimes change is good and sometimes change is necessary to be successful. There's a lot of local anglers and charter captains that are actually trolling crankbaits and worm harnesses and sometimes spoons and being quite successful here on the Great Lakes. So this morning, I'm gonna try doing some bottom bouncing with worm harnesses and hopefully, if luck has it, I'll have some fish and I'll be able to show you my favorite walleye recipe. I'll tell you one thing, the flies are horrible in the summer, but you know what? We did get a few fish, nothing, nothing to write home and brag about, but we do got lunch. So when it comes to the actual harness itself, I tie up my own and I basically use 12 pound test uh, floral carbon, about that long, three foot, because I like to use a spydro camera on the end and I don't want to get too far out when the water isn't so clear. I use a good ball bearing swivel on one end and then basically I just come down here and I use a smile blade. The beautiful thing about these is I think they're made out of uh, mylar of some sort with a coating and you could bend the blades if you want a faster turn and more of a crazy wobble or out if you want something more mellow. I put a float on there and then I'm using these new um, VMC spin drift hooks where they've got an actual barrel swivel right on the end so it eliminates the line twist. And I like the one aught size hook as you see here. When it comes to the weights, I like to carry a different variety of them, anywhere from one ounce to three ounce. And the reason for that is because I'm fishing different depths of water. It all depends on my current. It also depends on the wave action that's on the surface. So here you have pretty much your standard uh, bottom bouncing uh, weight with the wire. Here I've got a custom one with a really long, heavy duty wire. And I like to use these when I'm in a lot of weeds. But right now I've been fancying this little bottom hugger. One thing that I really need to mention is I kicked live bait 10 years ago. All I use is plastics now. I catch just as many walleyes on plastics than I did on worms. My favorites are the case plastic uh, magic sticks. Another one I really like is the zipper shaker worms. These things are fantastic. And when it comes to a rod, I prefer a nice seven, eight foot rod. St. Croix, of course. mention I forgot to mention all about the speed as long as the blades are turning I'm a happy guy no blades no fish you can vary your speed up and down and what's beautiful about the smile blade is it turns at a quarter mile per hour now we got to go in the store and get a few things gotta have garlic butter now this is what we need you need smoked paprika because this is going to bring it all together. Not regular paprika or hot paprika, smoked paprika. You gotta have some greens, right? So. Just got one more stop and then we're off. One more ingredient I gotta get, and it involves just a little bit, just a little bit of alcohol. Any white shard and they will do. Hey, did you forget something? I swear to you, this is gonna be the best dish you've ever had in your life. Now I got the fish cleaned and I let it soak overnight in the refrigerator covered with water. If you're gonna do that, don't use a metal bowl. Use plastic or glass or else the fish will take on the metal taste. What we're gonna need is one cup of white wine, eight tablespoons of butter, a little bit of well, maybe a lot of smoked paprika, a little bit of salt to taste, you can add pepper if you like, a little bit of Parmesan, and two to three cloves of chopped garlic. I just lay my fish in the dish like this. Now these were small walleyes, so I didn't bother zippering them and taking out the uh, lateral line. We'll be just fine, be like eating big perch. Now we're gonna toss around some butter Take a little bit of the chopped garlic, spread that all around. You can use as much as you'd like or as little as you want. But here in this house, we love garlic. Uh, salt, like 
a little bit of salt. Parmesan cheese. We like Parmesan in this house too. And all we need now is a little bit of the secret ingredient, not so much secret, but it's so important, and that's the smoked paprika. Go lightly, okay? Go lightly. Not too much now. We don't want too much, okay? Not too much. And you've preheated your oven to about 350, toss that in there, I don't know, say 20 minutes or so, and now we wait. You know, this is so good that even people who don't like fish will love it. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, sh I think Linda just got home. Mammies. Flies. Freaking flies. Okay.